Hey Traveler, welcome to this tutorial covering the photo mode feature in No Man's Sky for PC on Steam, Windows Store, GOG, and the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Due to the incredibly wide range of players coming into No Man's Sky, I thought I'd dive a little deeper into the mechanics of photo mode so that veterans and new players alike could take full advantage of capturing and sharing their shots. I've placed timestamps in the description to help you navigate directly to where you need to go, and of course, with the next-gen consoles, I don't anticipate photo mode in No Man's Sky changing all too much, but the method and the steps in sharing might. Regardless if there are any changes to photo mode that contradict the information in this video, it will be placed in a pinned comment. Please refer to that before asking any additional questions. However, if you do have questions, I mean, feel free to put them in there. If I can't answer it, uh, someone who's watching probably can. All right, let's get started. Let's start off with PC, or more specifically, from Steam. For the most part, controls are similar across platforms, except where I mentioned the difference. The photo mode is immediately accessible at any point in your game. While on foot or in your ship, bring up your quick menu by pressing X by default, also down on the D-pad for controllers, and to the far right is a camera icon. That is photo mode. On PC, you can bind this to any of your numbers by holding control and pressing the desired number. I have mine set to zero. It's a great way to activate photo mode real fast. Presently, there is no hotkey to get directly to photo mode on consoles. And in VR, it's as simple as pointing to your left hand and choosing the camera icon. This is where the fun begins. Movement is pretty straightforward and backward and side to side and up and down. <laughs> The one thing you should keep in mind though, as I'm sure you'll figure out, is that the camera cannot move on a plane while looking up or down. Wherever you look is where the camera goes. Probably something you don't have to worry about when taking photos, but I use photo mode a lot for recording videos, so I think it's worth mentioning. When moving your camera, there is a small buffer at the start that quickly goes into normal speed. This is nice for when you want to get those precise angles without having to play the tapping game. Also true for consoles, but has always been easier with the analog sticks. In VR, this feature has not been implemented yet. In fact, VR is much more limited, surprisingly. You can also roll your shot by using the 1 and 3 keys or the R1 and L1 bumpers on controllers. If you plug in the controller while the game is running, you'll probably have to restart the game so that Steam can recognize the configuration beforehand. I use a controller for my PC when shooting videos because it gives me really smooth motions. There's an option for smooth right and left, but honestly, I, I don't know what it does. And since they aren't mapped to anything, and when I try to map it to something, even combined with other keys, it doesn't really do anything. It was also mentioned this could be related to VR, which I would understand if the options were available in VR menus. It's not. There is a bounding sphere that limits the distance of your camera can go. Your player model is at the center of this bubble. There is no option to hide your player model while in photo mode. But if you go into first person before activating photo mode, your player model will not be seen. Except for when you're in your ship. It doesn't matter what perspective you're in, the ship will always be viewable in photo mode. Uh, keep in mind, this is only applicable when you are playing alone and not around any other players. When other players are in your fire team and are in the same system, your photo mode will continue to move. In VR, the environment while in photo mode will move regardless of what you do or who you're with. Now what about those settings? There's a helpful guide at the bottom of the screen when entering photo mode. Going into Adjust Effects, we can go into more detail on what to change. Let's start in the top right corner of the user interface under the Scene tab with Time of Day. This moves the star or stars in the system to show the natural progression of time. You can also choose where to place your star by moving your cursor around and hitting F or down on the right analog stick for consoles or down on the left touchpad for VR, or equivalent to your VR headset. If there is more than one star, they will rotate accordingly to their position. You can also exit the effects UI and move your camera around to hit a more precise spot.
going down, the next setting is fog density. It's pretty straightforward. The more fog reduces the distance your visibility of the surrounding area. Or get rid of it altogether and create a really clear image. Next is cloud level. It's the same thing as fog density. You can choose how much of the clouds we see in the sky. Cloudy or clear, it's up to you. After that is vignette. This is the fade you see around corners of the screen to emulate the housing of a lens. This is sort of what you get when the sensor or frame for the camera is being obstructed by the lens itself. So you get this rounded blur effect depending on what kind of lens and sensor you use. And the last one on this menu is the screen filter. These filters are a stylized way to have some fun and reflect a lot of atmosphere types you can find in No Man's Sky. This is a complete rework of filters that were originally in the game. Bye bye 1.0 filters. Note that when in your ship, you only have options for fog density, vignette, and screen filter. The time of day doesn't apply, even though the star and the surrounding stars still rotate. You can still place the star where you like. Switching over to the Lens tab, we get an option to change the field of view. Like real camera lenses, there are different sizes for different zoom levels. Except this uses degrees instead of millimeters of the lens. So here, the smaller angle, the tighter the shot. The larger the angle, the wider the shot. Depth of field is off by default. Let's turn it on and dive in. There are three options. Light, full, and auto far. Think of auto far as an infinity setting on the camera. It focuses as far out as it can while keeping everything mostly in focus. To give you a detailed look, we'll focus on full. It's also the more dynamic of the three. Under the option, you have focal distance and focal depth. What, what exactly are those? Focal distance is the distance from the camera that remains in focus. Just like how you can manually set a real camera to focus at a certain distance. The focal depth is how deep that in-focus area is. For instance, we could have a focal distance of 52 units and a focal depth of 2 units. And the photo would end up looking like this. Playing around with the light and depth of field can make for some really cinematic looks. Once you get your photo where you like it, on Steam, the default keybind to take a screenshot is F12. You can also click the mouse button to trigger the snap. To see where the screenshots are saved, go into your Steam settings, to the in-game tab, and screenshot folder. I also suggest selecting the option to save an uncompressed copy for maximum quality. The screenshot uses your native screen resolution, so it will come out to the size of what you are viewing it on even if you have your in-game resolution set higher. From there, you can access the photos and place them wherever you like. I have my screenshots folder connected to my Google Drive account, which then adds all the photos to my gallery. This way I can access the photos on my phone instantly and share wherever I like at matching quality. The same can be done with other cloud-based file sharing apps like Dropbox, OneDrive, and etc. Honestly, VR isn't all that exciting when it comes to photo mode, except for the custom emoting you can make your avatar do with their hands. The lack of options and settings that we just went over makes photo mode in VR seem less accessible. I could not access the change settings mode as suggested by the menu that pops up for a split second when entering photo mode for the first time in any play session. So let's assume you can access that and the options are in fact there, but you might have better luck than me. What about GOG? How do you take photos in No Man's Sky? It's very similar to how Windows Xbox app takes photos. Once you trigger the snap in photo mode, an address bar pops up momentarily to show where the screenshot has been saved. Uh, so far, I haven't been able to find any options to change the designated folder which it saves. But by default, it should go into your pictures folder under No Man's Sky. When you want to snap a photo on Xbox, hit the Xbox button and there should be an option to save screenshot using the Y button. This saves the photo and you can immediately access it when the notification pops up by holding down your Xbox button. If you miss the notification, you can easily get back to your photo by hitting the Xbox button moving over to the second to last right tab, capture and share, 
and going to recent captures. You can choose which shot you want to select and share where you like. Like I mentioned before, I like to upload my shots to OneDrive and have them immediately accessible on my phone. If you have an Xbox account, then you have a OneDrive. You can go directly to the website or download the app on your phone to access the files there. All you need is your Microsoft login information and there should be automatically populated folders organizing your content. On PlayStation, hit the share button and choose screenshot. You will have options to share it on certain platforms like Twitter, your activities feed, and so on. If you take multiple screenshots and want to get them all off of your PS4 and onto your PC, go to your home screen by pressing the PlayStation button. From there, navigate to the Capture Gallery. You can go to All or go directly to the No Man's Sky captures. You can choose to see screenshots only, and when selecting the photo, press the Options button and there you can choose to upload to a USB storage device. From there, you can select which screenshots get uploaded to the USB device. You then press upload to copy all the selected files. It will create folders to organize the screenshots and let you know when it is complete. After you plug in the USB drive to your computer, navigate to the device and you will see the folders provided. Going into screenshots shows you photos you've copied over. Copy where you like and share around. And there you have it. Now with a little bit of practice, you can start your way towards being a professional No Man's Sky photographer. Smile! <laughs>